So with the latest 2.0 update for Cyberpunk, there are, I believe, three new cars that have been added into the game for you to grab. Not changed, not cars that have been changed, cars that have been added brand new to the game. Again, today, we check them out. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so man, driving in this game has seriously evolved from day one. And it's even changed with 2.0. They've added the ability to find weaponized vehicles, which truly changes the entire driving experience. Also, with 2.0, they added new vehicles to the game. Now, I believe there are three in total, but if I have missed any, please let me know down below. But today, we check them out. Okay, so firstly, guys, we have the new weaponized vehicle you can simply buy from any computer terminal which allows you to access the auto fixer website i went to my mega building apartment you guys can do the same buy any computer terminal which allows you to access the auto fixer website click on said website and go to the archer category it should be top of the list and then guys you want to purchase the new quartz spectre and to be honest, although it's 70k plus eddies, this is my new favourite car. This thing has it all. Amazing handling, it's fast, has built-in weapons. I mean, I seriously love it. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Ken Block Tribute Car. The Quadra Type 66 Hoon. Now, with this vehicle, for most players who have progressed the story a little, it's simply just a lying around waiting for you to go and find it. Now, what I will say is, if you get here and a car isn't here for you, it is, I believe, tied to a mission that you need to progress past. And I believe you have to progress the mission of where you meet Takamura at the restaurant for the first time. The mission is called Playing for Time. So once you get this mission out of the way, probably skip time by 24 hours before heading out here to grab this car. So on screen now guys, you can see where this car is found. Once you get here, you will be met by Johnny. Okay, so once you land here guys, from here, search this pile of rubbish. Within here guys, you will find the keys to the car. Then, simply get in it and the car is yours Try for good. Okay, so the third and final car we have is the Demiurge Monster Truck. I've already made a guide on this video which I will let play out in a second, but I do need to add a few more further details on it before I do so. Now what you see in this video is the very first time I've interacted with said laptop and arcade game. I've never played this arcade game and I've never touched anything else in this computer room before what you see in this video. So that's all I believe needs to be done. I have seen people state that you don't even need to come to this room. You don't need to touch your laptop or the arcade game for this to work. For me, I tried sitting on that damn mattress for days straight and nothing triggered. It only worked after I've come to this computer room and logged into that laptop. So yes, what you guys are about to see is what triggered this secret cutscene for me. Now the time in which you can do this, I believe can be different, but I believe it needs to be done in the AM, not PM. 
Now, if you guys are lost in what I'm saying and haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, check it out now and it should make sense to you. Okay, so first things first, you need to come to this point on the map right here. Now it is out in these sticks, you will have to drive a bit during a, um, a tr fast travel point anywhere near here. So yes, you will have to drive a bit. But once you get here, guys, you will notice there's this secret room, which has got computers, it's got servers, it's got an arcade machine there with that Arasaka uh, 3D game on it. Ignore that for now. What you want to do, guys, is you want to skip time until you get to about, well, just before 4 a.m., it doesn't matter if it's 30 minutes game time before 4 a.m. Just make sure it's before 4 a.m. Now, I'm not sure if this is needed. I'm showcasing to you guys exactly how I did this. I skipped to just before 4 a.m. Then what I did, guys, was I stood in front of this computer right here, as you can see on screen now, and I waited until the game time top right corner where you can see your in-game time hit 4 a.m. Now what I will say is, and this is an absolute promise to you, I have never interacted with this computer before, I've never played the arcade game, the Arasaka 3D uh, game before, never ever, that's a promise. So this definitely works, you don't have to do any of the hard stuff, which by the way if you are interested in, I'll link a video down below by little Danny B, he showcases the whole, <laughs> the whole puzzle, it's long, it's long winded, it's not my kind of thing. But you also get to see a great Easter Egg uh, cinematic as well. You don't get to see that, the Golden Cube Easter Egg. We're doing it this way, what I'm showcasing to you guys today. So if you want to see that as well, check out his video. I will link it down below. But yes, guys, none of that is needed. You can still get this vehicle. And this is what you have to do. So as soon as 4 a.m. hits, what you want to do is interact with the computer and log in. Just do what I do. Read all the messages for the first time as I do. Just do what? Just do that. Simple. Once you've done that guys, then go to the arcade machine. You don't have to play it, nothing, just interact with it, as I did. And then I left it, I just exited the game. Simple. From here guys, you need to come to this point on the map. Now this point and what you have to find here is pretty difficult. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to find it, but I do know exactly where it is. Uh, but hey, come here, come to this point on the map. And what you want to do guys here is get here as fast as you can. So don't do anything in between, just come here as fast as you can. If I were you, I'd probably drive to your nearest fast travel point and then fast travel over here as I do on screen. So yeah, do that guys. So once you land at this fast travel point, which is the one I recommend you come in to, drive to where I go to and exactly where I go to. Simple. So once you get here guys, get out of your car and follow the path I take on the screen. Now you're looking for a mattress. Now what I will say is guys, if you're having trouble finding it like this, I did record a video earlier which is a bit more lighter, you can see it a little bit better. I'll play that on screen now. This is exactly where this mattress is pinpointed. So watch that guys and I'll catch you back in a quick second.
Okay, so back to the original video. So yes, I'm coming here guys. It's still before 5 a.m. which is perfecto. So what you want to do guys is you want to stand on this mattress. Just stand on it and be AFK. I think it takes around 55 minutes in game time. Uh, so yes, you have to stand here AFK in game time. If I were you, I'd just watch that uh, time in your top right hand corner. I wouldn't go into your menu or anything like that. Just stand here and watch that time. I mean, I think it's like, like I said, 55 minutes could be an hour, but you have to stand here for that time AFK. It's game time, by the way. So that's, it's probably about five, 10 minutes, if that, uh, in real life time. So you should be good. Now, what should happen, guys, is you should get like your choking, your your malfunctioning and you'll just black it out. Now, the method I linked in the video description where it goes through the entire thing of entering all kinds of different puzzles and numbers and stuff. At this point, you will get like a golden cube cinematic, but doing it the way I'm showcasing to you today, you do not see that. All you see is a mysterious person who we do not know the identification of. Eventually guys, you will wake up and right in front of you will be this Demiurge monster truck. Get in it guys and it is yours for good. Drive it around Night City, drive it around the desert as I was doing, having tons of fun. But yes guys, this is now yours. And there we have it guys, three brand new vehicles to the game. Now if you know of any more that have been added, not changed, added into the game, brand new vehicles, please let me know down below but on that note guys the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one